I miss the way her instinctive fingers could amaze her Steinway. One note rising, one note kneeling. I have been two years, five months. All are welcome to the next Wake Up and Smell the Poetry, which will take place at the H Camp Studios at 77 Main Street on November 17th. Uh, Wake Up and Smell the Poetry started out as a poetry reading um, 15 years ago uh, at a cafe in Bellingham. And because the cafe closed, I brought it over to Hopkinton. We started at the uh, HCA building, and it was getting too small in there. And the warm and welcoming HCAM Studios invited me to bring it over there. And as we came over to the studio, we also, uh, I invited singer-songwriter friends to come share their songs, and authors, writers, uh, storytellers as well, screenwriters. So it has blossomed, and it's a community forum to introduce different artists, authors, singer-songwriters to community, perform their art, and also give a platform, give opportunity for uh, people who are in the arts to share some of their talent as well. Find his glasses nor his soaking teeth, his fingertips upon the nightstand felt, nothing beneath but the old and wrinkled doily upon which his things had rested. Crestfallen, he got down upon his haunches. The blues girl blues. I had the blues girl blues. I was a blues girl all the time. The phone, grab the guitar, went to a place where you can find more information about Wake Up and Smell the Poetry at our website hcam.tv. I'd love for more people to get involved from our community. They can come to HCAM Studios next Saturday, November 17th. The doors open at 10. We get started at 10:30. They can show up as audience. Um, we have an open mic. Usually there's advanced sign up, but there might be some spots available that morning as well. And uh, there's the information every month on our website at HCAM TV too. Touch the moon, use Big Dipper for your spoon. Joys everlasting, sights far outlasting, fireworks of rainbows blasting and blasting. Aboriginals go around and they knock on the trees until they find a hollow one. They cut it off, put a little beeswax on it, flap their lips, and you get a sound from it. Host of the program, Cheryl Peralt, is excited about what's coming up on the next Wake Up and Smell the Poetry. Very excited we have poet and essayist Crystal Williams coming from Boston. She is associate provost of diversity and inclusion and she does great work over there uh, at Boston University and she also is a very highly respected and accomplished poet. Uh, started out as an actress and went over to uh, slam poetry in New York City and uh, now we are fortunate she's here in the Boston community and she's going to be sharing some of the poetry from her published books. And we have Kevin So, who started in Boston as a singer-songwriter, first performing cover songs, uh, and he claims uh, Asian American identity as a folk singer, songwriter. He went to uh, writing songs in the 90s in the local circuit here, went back, went over to LA then to Nashville. Now he's back here and he's going to be sharing some of his original songs uh, with one of his band members also. So I'm really looking forward to this event and we have a great lineup for the open mic as well. And carry on when you're rolling with your crew. 